Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Lotus Spirit Tarot. My name is Shannon Colleen, and this is going to be your 2024 predictions. Before we get started, Scorpio, I do want to mention that, yes, I am available for personal readings at this time. If you would like to hear directly from your angels, guides, and ancestors, all you have to do is click on the description box below, click more, and then click on my booking site link. All right, Scorpio, let's see what the overall energy for 2024 is going to be. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy? Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy for 2024? Show us clearly. What is the overall energy? Lots of ringing in my ears right now. Oh, my goodness. What is the overall energy for Scorpio? Show me clearly for Scorpio. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for Scorpio? Show us clearly. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Divine Source Creator. Thank you. All right, Scorpio. For you, we have here the lover and the beloved. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So we have 35, which is an eight in numerology. Eights are about infinite possibilities and abundance. Um, I do feel for a lot of you, yeah, absolutely romantic love. Twin flame, soulmate partnerships, romantic love for sure is coming in for you. And uh, it feels really nice, really good, really equal, lots of respect. For others of you, soulmate energy is not always romantic, okay? So you might have the circle of friends, a business partnership, a boss, an employee, something that's coming into your life that is meant to be. Their spiritual team is right there, blessing this, wanting this union, Um I say this a lot. I know some people think I'm a little, little cuckoo, but honestly, this can be a home, right, that you move into. Soulmate energy in a home, yes, that happens. Um, soulmate energy is all around us. This could be a new animal that comes into your life, right? New dog, new cat, whatever. But there is a sacred union happening this year. And it's funny because it's the 35 Scorpio again with the eight and then 2024 is an eight year, right? Lots of possibilities, lots of growth. That's beautiful to see. That is really beautiful to see. Let's see what we have here. One more picture. Nope, sorry. Okay, so Scorpio, it says, O oh, sweet beloved, the divine, the great beloved has a passionate desire for you to love you, to touch you, to make the divine presence known to you so that you will cease to fear the darkness. Take delights in all of life and become mesmerized by the beauty of love in its endless eman emanations. Yes, emanations, if I could read. So... Did you notice there they weren't talking about bringing a, a romantic partner? And yes, that is going to be for some of you. Okay, absolutely. But talking about what I was saying before, soulmate energy isn't always romantic. This also says here, but how we resist love at first. Oh, yes, we have been burned before, have we not? Abandoned, betrayed, so painfully disappointed, cast aside, and have suffered at the hands of some unworthy can this great divine love affair be tarred with the same brush, with the same bitter expectations that keep the heart closed? You are too beautiful to be hidden away behind a bitter and gated heart. That is unworthy of you. So opening your heart up again, and I just want to emphasize this, a, a painful disappointment, abandonment could be a job loss where you got fired or let go. Okay, so it's time for you to open your heart, Scorpio to the infinite possibilities that are going to come in for you in 2024. Seems pretty, do I dare say simple? I feel like you heal a lot or you've healed a lot in 2023 from disappointments. Now this could be not just things that happened in 2023, this could be things that happened, you know, decades ago, but you're truly, truly healed from that. And you're able to open your heart back up to trusting 
a new boss, to trusting your business will succeed, to trusting in romantic love. Angels, guides, ancestors for Scorpio. What is the message here, please? What is the message? Show me clearly. Because whatever is coming in for you is literally destiny, divine guidance. I love the spiritual team right here, right? I love that in this card. Just guiding you to this soulmate energy, whether it is a place, a person, a thing, an animal, a job. <laughs> Again, I love it. Too many. Too many, please. Can I just have one or two? Thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Um, wow. Okay, definitely check your other placements. Okay, Scorpio, make sure you're checking out your moon, your rising, and especially your Venus, because Venus dictates love. All right, talks about love. Because this came out in the same position for Libra. So if you have Libra in your Venus, uh, you know, definitely check that out. But no matter what it is, if you have, you know, Taurus in, in Venus, go watch that. You should watch them all. But this is amazing to me because this is investment and diligence. And I kind of feel like it's a little bit opposite for you. For them, it was investing in themselves. For you, it's being trusting to invest in others. Investing your time, investing your love, right? You're, you're trusting that you can invest in others to grow something amazing. Again, could be romantic, but it can be anything. It's trusting a new partner in business, trusting uh, a new employee that comes in, uh, trusting your real estate agent with a house that's meant for you, okay? But there is something about this. This investment is your investment in trust. Wow. Thank you. Wow, yeah. Nine of swords. You are... You're totally healing from this kind of Nine of Swords energy. I mean, I truly feel that. I truly feel like you're healing from that. That Nine of Swords is kind of like, oh my gosh, they're doing laughs. Am I going to get laid off and worrying and worrying and worrying? Or can I really trust this person? I've been heartbroken before. I know I'm just going to go through this nightmare again. But I feel like right here, that is what you're healed from i feel like 2023 was the year of healing from this and 2024 opens your heart to the new possibilities show me clearly what is the message please where there was a lot of conflict inner conflict even maybe some outer conflict but yeah you're healed from that oh wow oh wow king of rings yeah, this is, says here responsibility and abundance. Again, I feel like you've worked for this, okay? The king of pentacles for me is not someone who just was given the wealth. They've worked for it. They've learned lessons through it. That can be wealth of love. This can be wealth of money. I feel like you've really, truly learned from the past so you could step into this role of the king of pentacles, right? And you are... Smart enough, yeah, that is, that's brilliant, right? Smart enough to know where to invest. I mean, disclosure, right? See a financial advisor if you need to, but point being, it's like, it would be like, I know where to invest my stock money. I know where to invest in this. I know where to invest in that. The, the lessons you have learned, including love, right? And you know where you can put that trust. You know where you can open your heart to gain even more wealth. You're taking on, this says responsibility and abundance, but you're taking on the responsibility of opening your heart back up. Show me clearly. Show me clearly for Scorpio, please. What is the message for Scorpio? Thank you. Yeah, there it is. Ace of Wands. Ambition, willpower. You are bound and determined to 
have success in your life this new year right aces new beginning you are bound and determined to have that success in probably multiple areas of your life but honestly you're like i you're just very passionate about the success that you want you're willing to put in work because you, because you love it Right. For example, and this is just an example it may not apply to everybody, but let's say there is a home that is pretty dilapidated and everybody else is kind of like, uh, why do you want to buy that home? Because you have the ambition. You can see what it's going to become. You can see that it's a soulmate energy that you need to buy this and work on this home. It's that kind of energy. Yeah. Look at this. Whew. 2023 was a rough year, right? Uh, three of swords. Release. I really do. I know a lot of people look at these cards as not so great, the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords, but that is true mind energy, okay? It's it's mind energy. Even though normally there's a heart, it's still swords, which is the mind. I feel like you're, you've healed the mind, the mindset, the mindset of lack, the mindset of I'm unlovable, whatever. I feel like you've really healed that. And yeah, we've been hurt along the way, of course. We've been disappointed along the way, right? In love, in money, in jobs, and again, getting fired, let go. Like, of course, right? But I feel like it's almost like because of that, you're more determined than ever to make 2024 the best year you've had. Probably in a while. Okay, show me clearly. I love this Ace of Wands, though. It's like, it's almost like the, the defeat, the disappointment has fueled the fire to have success. Hmm. Interesting. Show me clearly, please, for Scorpio. Show me clearly for Scorpio. That's too many. Can I just have one or two, please? <laughs> show me clearly for Scorpio. That is so many. No, no, no. That's like eight cards. Oh, eight again. Those eights are probably popping up all around you. Show me clearly. Thank you. My goodness. Look at this fortitude. This is the strength card, right? Vitality, courage. You are cour cour courageously going after what you desire. And I really do believe it's 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 almost sheer willpower for you because you're like, I am done with this mindset. I am done, you know, feeling like everybody's out to get me, so to speak. Like, I am done of wondering why things don't work out for me. They don't work out for me because I hadn't learned the lesson. Now I've learned the lesson. Now I can trust again. Now I can put my heart out there again. In anything I do or anybody I want to pursue or letting someone pursue me, I'm telling you this is like such a turnaround for you, Scorpio. Such a turnaround for you. And I'm here for it. Again, I would definitely check out your Venus. Check out your Venus placement and watch that reading. Show me clearly, please. Yeah, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if you're seeing eights all over the place. Show me clearly, please. What is the message, please? I am constantly growing, evolving, and becoming my best self. Absolutely, okay? This is what you've learned. We also have, I like where I am and I'm over the moon about where I'm going. Yes, you know this change has happened. You know where you're going. Again, I love this willpower. I love this ambition. I love the release. Right? I absolutely, all of this. And the, and the courage to say, no, I'm going to get what I desire. It takes courage to say, no, I'm going to get what I desire. A lot of courage. So with that being said, Scorpio, all of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.